friends welcome to the video of uh, most probable questions for the gate exam and here is the topic uh, that is most probably asked in the gate exam related to the subject that is electromagnetics and here i start so in electromagnetics the very first topic that is uh, important for exam point of view is coordinate system and in that coordinate system all the three types rectangular cylindrical spherical systems are important actually most of the times the question uh, used not to be asked from this topics but it is very useful for the higher uh, higher topics that will be covered later so we must read this these three and we must uh, clear the the concepts related to these Uh, coordinate system so this is the very starting that is rectangular we all know x y z components cylindrical rho phi z components and in spherical r theta phi component so what is the relation between in these and how the vectors can be transformed from rectangular to cylindrical sometimes what happened that in some questions the spherical system is used to be useful so in that system we will have to transfer rectangular to spherical system and then we will have to solve so we must Just know this concept, then only we can do uh, further. So, uh, this topic cannot be asked directly, but we should read it because it is very useful and very helpful to clear the higher topics and uh, the questions being asked from the higher topics are related to this one. Okay. The next topic that is important and very very important and direct questions being asked from these topics: gradient, divergence, curl, and uh, very famous theorem, Gauss theorem and Stokes theorem. We all know gradient is just uh, of a scalar function del v, divergence del dot vector a. Uh, and curl is del cross vector a cos theorem we well know what it is that is uh, like um, vector of uh, vector uh, del cross sorry del dot v into dv if we apply so or del dot vector a if if we apply then it can be directly equal to the vector a dot ds it's a surface integral in a closed path if the surface integral is given by this then the divergence of that vector multiplied with the complete volume the integral of the volume will be given by the gaussian so this theorem is again important again uh, one more theorem that is vector a dot dl the line integral closed loop uh, the line integral will be equal to del cross vector a into ds so these are the things that is important for the exam point of view stokes theorem gauss theorem and these these things uh, next we come to the topic that is uh, boundary condition for electric field and magnetic field very again the very important topic so two mediums will be given psilon and psilon 2 the medium uh, dielectric permittivity and uh, in for magnetic field permeability will be given mu1 mu2 and if uh, some electric field is given in this region e1 and we have to determine the electric field in this region so so uh, if for uh, even electric field there may be two components and one normal component and one tangential component so using the uh, earlier uh, some uh, properties of the electric field in that um, uh, the electric field when we uh, circulate vector e dot dl we want to find out vector e dot dl in a closed loop then it will be zero so this type of things using this type of things we can determine the boundary condition but we have not to derive how the di di uh, boundary conditions has been obtained we have to just uh, know uh, what is the boundary condition so we all know that at boundary d1 n equals to d2 n that is electric flux density and e1 t equals to e2 t so these are the uh, theorems <coughs> or uh, the boundary condition that can be used to solve this problem similarly the relation is for magnetic field that we may know v1 n equals to v2 n and h1 h1 t equals to h2 t if there is no any charge so there is no any current at the boundary and similar condition here if there is no any charge at the boundary but when there is a charge and when there is a current then the formula can be different so that thing also we must know so overall the boundary condition is very important topic and the question has been asked various times on this topic now next come to the maxwell's equation all the four maxwell's equations are uh, very important either it is for varying field non varying field or free space that we all know that is um, del dot d equals to rho v del cross vector e equals to minus del b vector b by del t this is uh, the 
equation Faraday's law given by Faraday's law when there is varying field but when it is not varying then it will be 0 del cross vector e equals to 0 again del dot vector b uh, equals to 0 uh, divergence of magnetic field is 0 and del cross vector h equals to vector j plus del d by del t so these type of things this is ampere circuital law so these things uh, can be used and the other forms of this uh, Maxwell's equation also can be used that is uh, this this was uh, divergence and curl form in uh, integral form it can be also derived so various types of forms and all the forms are useful so Maxwell's equation we must learn and uh, actually the main concept in AMT is of Maxwell's equation every time it is used either uh, of the basic topics if you will consider the basic topics or if you will consider the higher topics every time this, these equations are being used and in uh, some of the books it has been written that uh, AMT is nothing but just the four Maxwell's equation and which are these these four so every time in every exam this uh, Maxwell's equation related to the questions of Maxwell's equation being asked so we must prepare this topic in, um, with a better concept now come to the uh, other topics that is very useful from the exam point of view and that is EM wave of, of course the electric magnetic um, electromagnetic wave and if any electromagnetic wave will be given and we will have to find out what are the electric field what is the magnetic field in that uh, electromagnetic wave given electromagnetic wave so these field components will have to determine phase constant we will have to determine beta equals to 2 pi by lambda these relations used to be uh, used there and uh, another thing phase velocity that is vp equals to omega by beta so these relations it is being used at emission constant sometimes asked that is alpha you know all know gamma equals to alpha plus j beta so overall gamma is the propagation constant so these things used uh, used to be asked in the exam intrinsic impedance eta value what is eta eta we know that uh, for uh, medium is given by this way sigma plus j omega epsilon and for different that is uh, we can say conduction lens or you can say non-conducting medium it may be directly under root mu upon epsilon means uh, frequency independent and for free space we all know that it is 377 ohm so these things we must uh, prepare once and uh, before the exam because it is very important pointing vector again uh, thing that is important vector p equals to vector e cross vector s that is the cross multiplication of the field and magnetic field this is important average power but using pointing vector we can determine the average power that is of polarization is another and important topic uh, in some videos I have cleared this topic so we can you can refer that topic also in my other videos so polarization is a very important topic for get exam point of view transmission of EM wave now come to the transmission of EM wave from one medium to another medium so similar the boundary condition will be asked once in the wave uh, in a medium epsilon 1 mu 1 and this is another medium epsilon 2 mu 2 so uh, if em wave is transmitted from one medium to another medium so for that thing vswr voltage standing wave is can be at a reflection coefficient at, the, at this uh, media interface can be at skin depth for uh, if if the electromagnetic wave is being in, introduced to a conducting medium then how much the em wave goes in, inside the conducting medium that is called skin depth and uh, better concept uh, you, you must learn about this topic because it is very important for example to Brewster angle again an important and critical angle both are the important topics so these topics is very important regarding the transmission of EM wave from one medium to another medium. Now come to the other topic that is transmission line. Every year the question is being asked from this topic and uh, anything can be asked. Input impedance is most probable. Characteristic impedance we must know quarter. So input impedance for quarter wave and half wave transmission line we must learn that is the if the length is lambda by 2 or lambda by 4 there will be load impedance there is characteristic impedance what will be z in so z in formula that is basic formula that is z naught sorry z l z naught plus uh, sorry z naught z z naught 10 beta l upon z naught plus z z l 10 beta l so this formula can be asked uh, and uh, the concept related to this formula can be asked in the exam yeah, not. So, uh, input impedance is very important for the exam point of view. Another topic that is matching of the transmission line. Matching means just 
if the uh, if at particular point there is input impedance is equals to equals to the uh, characteristic impedance of the next transmission line that is we are going to connect so if zn in equals to z not dash then it will be called that it, it has been matched so matching related to matching the questions is to be asked in the exam now reflection coefficient another thing that is very important for exam zl minus z not divided by zl plus z not very useful formula this is lossless transmission line distortion less line means for various transmission line lossless and distortion less uh, it can be asked so alpha and beta value can be varied according to the less less and distortion less transmission so you must read these topics in, uh, with a better concept uh, to clear the topic and solve problems related to that as much as you can now other topic that is important is rectangular waveguide and then rectangular waveguide cutoff frequencies uh, very important that is fc is given by 1 by 2 pi under root mu epsilon under root m pi upon a whole square plus n pi by b whole square so this is very important topic for te mn waveguide or tm mn waveguide uh, rectangular waveguide phase velocity is another important topic that is inside the rectangular waveguide what is the phase velocity so we all know that is the phase velocity is going to be dash under root 1 minus f by fc whole square so whatever the cutoff frequency the uh, phase velocity inside the rectangular waveguide will be little bit larger than outside uh, outside the rectangular waveguide so these things can be as modes of operation in which modes it is working mn mode means uh, various mode can be as cut off wavelength similarly uh, using vp we can determine lambda as well so these are the important topics another topic that is important radiation pattern of half wave and quarter wave dipole antenna which is very important and has been asked in the various exams that is for half wave uh, antenna what will be the radiation pattern for quarter wave dipole antenna what will be the radiation pattern power radiation can be asked and uh, directive gain can be asked and the radiation resistance so in antenna the limited topics you have to read and most of the time the questions used to be asked from this topic and if any other questions is being asked then you will have to read entire topics but uh, from my point of view and as per the previous gate exam questions these topics i have found out that uh, most of the questions used to be from these topics only and of Almost, I think around 80 to 90 percent questions have been covered from these topics. Um, so, once you prepare these topics, you, you can uh, score better in the exam, and most of the questions you can do. Uh, I will come with some other videos in uh, upcoming days and keep watching and keep subscribed to our channel. Thank you so much.